o'clock this morning, we received the shots fired. Our officers were in the area uh, actually assisting uh, Lawrence Police Department in their apprehension of a suspect or a critical incident themselves when they actually heard the shots. Uh, we arrived here very quickly. We were able to ascertain that there were individuals inside of the home uh, shot, one of which happened to be a female, 19 years old, we described a little bit earlier, uh, and a one-year-old child whose injuries were non-survivable. Uh, where we are now is an update. I just got off the phone uh, with Chief Roach and uh, Chief Bailey. As a result of those conversations, I've been assured, and they want to communicate this message, and this message alone is that uh, the individual who did this, uh, we will have the force of our state uh, and federal law, law enforcement uh, officers uh, assisting us if you don't turn yourself in. Our children are the most vulnerable in our society and they will not be targeted and they will not be victimized uh, by an individual uh, architect of violence in this community. You are an architect of, viol uh, of violence and we will not accept it. It's unacceptable. So I've been assured that that message has been conveyed to me and now I'm conveying that message to you guys this morning. A strong message and what is your message to some of the people who don't come forward sometimes in these cases? That's right. It's very simple for us. We, again, I said it today, we said it this morning, that we don't deal with anybody. We interact with you where you are. This is a tragic incident. Uh, earlier, as we said, and as you articulated so poignantly, the emotions are raw in the sense that there are a lot of these first responders, as well as you, who have children. Uh, and it, it hit home for a lot of us. Uh, but we are now culminating through investigations, through individuals who we detain at the scene, combing through evidence, forensic evidence, and we will find whoever did this, but we need your help. And I have been assured, uh, state, local, and federal partners, that's at, uh, at a, a, a moment's away, a phone call away. Uh, and so that's where we are. When you say state, local, and federal, how do you, what does that look like? Can you put that in perspective for us? Uh, it means all of the assets that, uh, are, that are, are available uh, through uh, investigators, through uh, all of the techniques that we employ in law enforcement, all of those uh, quasi pseudo private matters, investigatory things that we utilize at our disposal. So the reality of it is this, is that we can't do it alone. We understand that. We do not want to victimize then those individuals who are already experiencing this, this, uh, the aftermath of this violence. So with that being said, uh, we want who's ever responsible to come forward. If you do not, then we will have at our disposal all of those things that we uh, that I previously articulated. Are the witnesses in the house such cooperating? A strong message for African American men this morning. Well, the reality of it is, is that time and time again we look at statistically uh, individuals who are either either victims of uh, violence and architects of those violence. So what I'm saying and what we're saying is that we're not going to run away from that. We're going to deal with that. We're going to re react to that in an appropriate and healthy manner. But the fact of the matter is that this is this is a, this is a is, is a regular occurrence, and so we're we're not shying away from that. Again, we don't deal with with anybody. We interact with you where we are, but we stand on things that are true, and this is the truth of it. The statistics uh, uh, speak those uh, those uh, things, but more importantly, and I said it before, is that there are positive things going on across the community as it relates to African American men all the time all the time and these and I said it before these individuals who articulated this violence at this home and now a one-year-old baby girl average weight of a baby girl average weight of this child between 17 and a half and 22 pounds let's put that in reality so that's where we are so we're not browbeating anybody but where we are we are actually examining the truth and where we are and that's important to know are the witnesses that were inside the house cooperating with investigators? Um, at this point, they have everybody that was inside of the home, and they're asking them for as much information as they can. They're, and they, and I'm, I'm, I've been assured that they're gaining ground. These are, these are, are, are top of the line investigators. Chief Bailey has said that yesterday. Uh, he, he was out here this morning, as well as Chad Connect, Chief Deputy Chief Chad Connect. So, all of our brass, all of the individuals responsible, uh, and who are make very. Uh, good decisions as it relates to leadership in our uh, police department. We're here this morning. Uh, so we're going to be out here for a while. Uh, so the reality for us is this, is that if you know something, if you have any information that can that can really, really identify this individual, because this is tough, it still is tough, uh, then call us. This is where this is where we ask you. Now, if you in any shape, form, or stretch of the imagination think that it's appropriate to harbor an individual who you know is responsible for this, then you subject yourself to the same uh, response by us.
that is what we will, well, I can assure you of that. So if you know an individual who's, who's done this and you think it's appropriate to harbor that individual, then you expect the same type of response from us. Who talk about the hurt, not just with the family, but the first responder community. Absolutely. Uh, these officers, these uh, EMTs, these firefighters, uh, they're experiencing the same uh, trauma as well. Uh, in no way can we say that we're uh, immune to those types of responses, those human responses, those raw responses. That was the candid message that I wanted to convey to your viewers and to your viewers that we are humans as well, but more importantly, is that we experience the same aftermath of this, uh, of this, uh, of this trauma. So uh, we, we have compartmentalized things. Compartmentalization for our profession is a healthy thing, or we'd be uh, an emotional basket case. But I want people to also understand too that we also have to understand where we are and we deal uh, with our uh, own personal uh, uh, areas as it relates to our occupation and we deal with it in a healthy way. But more importantly, they, this, was, this was a distraught scene. Family members arriving, uh, screaming, wailing, crying. Uh, and, and we understand that. We're, this is what we do, we respond to this. But when officers have to, have to uh, uh, perform life-saving measures to a one-year-old child, uh, and there was an officer here this morning who has a, a child in close proximity to that age. That affects you. And when you're looking at that individual, as you said before, uh, uh, and, I, and I'm asking it, it's, are, you, are you doing okay? It's rough. And, and the response is, you know, it's clinical in the sense, yeah, I'm fine, but you're not fine. So that's where we are. So we, we've understand that we have officer wellness programs for the police department, and they do an excellent job. So we'll be able to un unpackage that rut sack, but it's also important that our community understands that we also have those types of uh, human responses as well. Absolutely shocking to hear about the one-year-old, of course. In the meantime, 19-year-old shot in the shoulder. Do we know how she's doing right now? Uh, alert, conscious. Uh, she will survive her injuries. But at this point, we're, our concern is trying to find this individual. Because I can tell you, um, there are a lot of uh, people who are, are, are working very hard around the clock at this point trying to figure out what we can figure out as it relates to who's responsible. So the message for us, and I'll, and I'll end here, is that there is somebody here listening and watching who knows who may be responsible for this and if we if we can implore do the right thing call us use crime stoppers if you want to remain anonymous call us directly we will come we will do whatever we can to bring you forward so you can have a, a, a peaceful uh, sort of uh, release of information but we, we need this information if you do not then as I said earlier uh, the full force of a uh, state local and federal law enforcement are just a phone call away. All right, thank you.